Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. We recently showed you how to make a quilt to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee. If you've not had time to make the quilt, I thought I'd show you how to make this lovely little wall hanging because it's quick and easy. And this is just a jug of flowers done in red, white and blue. You can do it any colour you want to, but it's a really simple and effective little wall hanging. So for this project, you're going to need a piece of background fabric and the piece I've used measures approximately 14 inches by 21 inches. You're going to need a piece of fabric for your jug and then you're going to need lots of smaller pieces to make the flowers. Now for today, I'm not actually showing you how to do the flowers. We have a separate tutorial on our YouTube channel for you to see how to do those and the link will be in the description. So the first thing I did was I drew the jug onto a piece of bondaweb or heat and bond. And the thing to remember with this is whichever way you want your jug, make sure you trace it the right way because whilst I've trace the jug facing this way, when I come to iron it onto my background fabric, it will be the other way round. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to roughly cut out the jug that I've drawn. So I'm not cutting on the line, I'm just cutting slightly away from the line at the moment. And then I'm going to go over to the iron and I'm going to press this onto the reverse of my fabric. Now I've chosen a darker blue and this one's got some ferns on it. So if you didn't want to do this for the Jubilee, you could do this as a present for a Mother's Day or a birthday and you could just choose any fabric that you wanted to. So before I go over to the iron, if you like what we do, don't forget to follow us on Instagram where you can see lots of hints and tips and best practices. You can see behind the scenes, we'll show you customer makes and we'll also answer any questions you might have. So I'm just pressing this onto the fabric. So the sticky side is the rougher fabric and the piece that I've traced onto is the smoother one. So make sure you've got it round the right way. So I'm just going to pop that onto my fabric and I'm going to give that a good press. And then I'm going to cut it out on the line. And then I'm going to take my background fabric to make sure I've got it the right way round. So I've got flowers on this, so it's a white on white. And then with a pin, I'm going to break the back of the heat and bond or bonder web. They both work in the same way. just going to place the jug where I want it to be. So I'm going to leave a little bit at the bottom. I'm going to take that over to the iron. When I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to press that in place. And as you can see, this one's come out the other way. It's come out the opposite way around. It's just didn't quite give that enough of a press, I don't think. There we are, that's better. 
So this is facing the opposite way. And then what I did was I did a blanket stitch all the way around, or you could do free motion, or you could hand sew it, it's entirely up to you. And then I put it on some wadding, and you can see here, I've just done some shadow quilting around the jug. And when you come to sew your flowers on, that will hold all three of your layers together. And the other thing I've done is I've put a little bit of a sleeve here so you can put a piece of dowel through here. And all I did was I folded a piece of fabric in half and when I came to attach the binding, I put the raw edge underneath and then I slip stitched that down so that I've got a nice little sleeve there so that I can hang it. And it's a really quick and easy project to do. It doesn't take very long at all. So don't forget to check out to see how to make the flowers. As always, make it your own, have fun, and I look forward to seeing you here in the sewing studio the next time.